Hello, Matthew Williams here with a quick video to say I was having trouble getting Windows Live Mail to work on Windows 10 and I was getting an error message which was coming up something like error 0x800c0006 which was something to do with photo common lang, mail common lang and ux common lang. So there's a lot to do with this thing of common lang which I assume is short for language and then I found a video on YouTube where it, where this chap uh, called Ultimate DIY said that if you're having this problem you need to put on the English United States language so you have to go into region and language and then you have to put that on which I did but it didn't get rid of this error so as he quite rightly pointed out you can actually still run Windows Live Mail but when you do you then end up coming up with an error message uh, saying that it's missing this file and the file it's missing is get to the top it's called windowslive.writer.localization.dll and this file it says is missing in the middle of the screen so you can download that file there's a number of places online that, that actually have that file I think I picked it up from uh, uh, from a DLL download place and uh, you need to pop that file into your C program files x86 go to the bottom to Windows Live folder into mail and you need to put a copy of that file Windows Live dot writer dot localization dot DLL in that folder and I also, just for good measure, I put it into the um, C slash Windows slash System32 folder as well and scroll down to where you've got these files, right click and paste it in there as well. Um, now, that didn't work, okay, so, but we're nearly there. The third thing I, I then thought I'd try is I'd come back, as you can see, I'm actually in Windows 7 here where I'm doing this recording, and what I did is I copied both folders that are called Windows Live Mail from Program Files okay so I copied it from Windows Live folder there which contains the following things WLD core.dll and mail and these files and also I went over to Program Files x86 and I copied all the contents of the Windows Live folders over there. So Windows Live has Contacts Installer Mail, Photo Gallery Shared, SOXE and Writer. It's mostly Mail we're interested in but I've copied the entire contents of that there as well. So I then took them across to Windows 10. I dumped them on top of the existing folders in Program Files and Windows Live in Program Files x86 accordingly and um, So what I did is I copied them into a uh, RAW file which as you can see is about 29 megs of data and I created a folder inside there called Windows Live for 10 okay and then I indicated which ones were which files for which folder so in this folder it's just for the program files and in this folder it's program files x86 so if we go into this folder you can see I've got Windows Live and there's the two corresponding files that have to go in that folder and they're not getting confused with the other folder which is program files x86 you've got a different set of files inside Windows Live there and all of those need to be copied over the top of your C program files folder for that one and program files x86 folder for that one and then it will work worked fine for me no more error messages so hope it works for you and um, I can possibly send you the files for this if you need them if you mail me uh, details are in the description below if there's a lot of uptake on this I may up upload them somewhere for people to uh, to get but um, uh, let me know what you think let me know if it's working and then we might decide if we're gonna sort of put these files out there for everyone to get hold of but if you're worried about receiving files from somebody like me um, even though they are the official files and all they can do is you know basically replace what you need which didn't get installed correctly but like I say if you find somebody who's got a copy of Windows 7 install Windows Live Mail onto their Windows 7 go to their C drive 
take the contents of those two sets of folders, put them on a flash drive, take them across to Windows 10 and copy them in and that way you're guaranteed that you know the files are going to be nice and clean because they're obviously from a fresh install of Windows Live which you did. So thanks very much for watching. Thank you.